work in it. Let me tell you a story about a chicken. I got one. I do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We would like to welcome you to Floyd Central this evening. Um, you are here to see a very talented group of kids. And before I talk about these kids, I'd like to talk about some other kids who are also in the audience tonight who did this play, this very, very same play in 2005. And as I sit here, I'm looking at Josh Martin back here who played Paul, who you will see tonight. And I'm looking at, I know her as Jennifer Anderson. She's not anymore. Jennifer O'Brien, but Jennifer, who played Betty, uh, funny story, Jennifer's daughter is also playing Betty tonight, wearing the same clothes that Betty wore in 2005, so they've held up well. Um, so it, it's, th this program has been going for a very long time, and I think that's a true testament to what kind of talent that we do have in Eastern Kentucky. Uh, these kids, they're resilient. These kids love to be on stage. They love to be challenged. They love to grow and learn. And I love seeing them grow and learn. Uh, I think Miss Smith feels the same way. I think Ricky and Lisa Wells feels the same way. Um, my, I, my thank yous go out to Ricky, Lisa, Marsha, my stage tech bunch that Ricky works with every day, running this booth, running the door, running the backstage. They're great. Uh, Sonia Sloan in her journalism class, they did the programs you're looking at. They did those for us. Uh, Greg Moore, I don't know if you know Greg Moore. He's a retired teacher in Floyd County, but he went all over Eastern Kentucky to find uh, authentic props for this play. Uh, got a couple of parents who, who sent some stuff, got a washing machine. I mean, everybody just kind of pushed in the last couple of weeks to get this to look the way it does. Um, uh, Miss Wat Dr. Watson, she came and did Young Authors, and she used the, she used the backdrop because it kind of suited the, the book that they were reading. So we were glad that that worked out for her. But the big thing is, is that we're doing this for these kids. We have about 14 seniors back here, and we always try to make sure that our seniors are spotlighted a little bit because, it's, uh, as you know, it's their last play. Also have some newcomers that that's their first times on stage. And they're doing so well, and I, and I can't wait to see what they do next year. Um, so as you're sitting here, just remember that, that these kids have worked so hard and that they have looked so forward to their parents. That's all they've talked about all week is their parents and their grandparents and their aunts and their uncles coming to watch them perform this play. So, um, and, and listen, if it gets a little raucous, um, you know, this, it's for you and they know that they can be a little more themselves with you. So sit back and relax and, and enjoy our rendition of The Hankering Hillbillies.
What is it, Frida Lou? Betty keeps chucking old dirt clods at me. Well, whose dirt clod was it? It was one of yours. Was not no dirt clod. That was some old wasp nest. Where'd you find an old wasp nest? It was out back. That thing was crawling alive with wasps this morning. Yeah, I thought my fingers were tingling some. He sure is some moron. Now there's wasps all over our room. I thought I felt something stinging me. But I'm so used to it. Well, maybe if you clean out your bed ever so often, you won't be afflicted, so. I done shook out the covers last month. Yeah, and then poor old possums had to go live somewhere else. Ma, Betty keeps chucking stuff at me. Betty? Oh, just something to stir things up around here. Dodd, she's sure funny when she's biting off a mess of wasps. You is. So, so, Ma, give me a word. Uh, assorted. You is. So, assorted. Am not. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. Okay, stop that. Stop that. One thing I will not abide in my house is any sort of violent carrying on. Yes, yes Ma. Ma. I has her eye. Y'all got anything to eat? Pa, did you see any men out there? Any men at all? And did you bring one home with you? You done said you was gonna bring home a man. You said as soon as you could, you'd bring one home with you. We done told you we ain't sticky. Any old man will do. It don't matter if he's lazy. It don't matter if he's crazy. It don't matter if he's graceful as moves. I don't care if he ain't brawny. It don't matter if he's brawny. I don't care if he ain't witty, it don't matter if he's giddy, it don't matter if he's dumber than a hen. He may not be educated, he may seem a mite sedated, it don't matter long as he can count to ten. Bring me a man, bring me a man, bring me a man, bring me a man, bring me a right here in the flesh, red blooded man. Why just ain't that many prospects? Yeah, I was getting my first baby up to catch me a man. 
church. All right, now. You gals, leave your paw in peace for once. Go on. <sighs> oh, Ma. We ain't never going to get hit. I swear, no men ever come around this place. We is all going to die, old spinster women. Get on. They is sure getting anxious. Tell me about it. Never seen such a thing. Getting so, I was just afraid to step through my own door there. Man! Where? Where? Where's the man? I done heard Paul say he's seen one. Now stop it, all of you. But we heard Paul say that sweet, precious word. He was just sighing, sort of. But where's the man Paul just called out to? There ain't no man. It was just his way of letting off steam. Getting so I have to watch every word I say then. Man. See? The fool almost did it again. <laughs> watch out, Paul. Today, they's all acting kind of a sort of. That's a new word I done learnt. <laughs> what, 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 what? Hold up. One, two, three, four. Ain't there another one of you? Charlemagne's out in the kitchen. Yes, sir. She's reading again. That's all she ever does is read them books. There ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? Is there? No, no Mom. There she is. Charlie! Oh, Heidi Paul. He was sure blessing your old Paul. How so? By my devotion, by helping out with the chores. And by not ambushing me at the door. Hey, what you reading there? How to catch a man. <laughs> Give me that foot! Holding out on your own kin, are ye? I told you she weren't no fool. I didn't know they made a book on how to catch a man. <clears throat> Is it anything like trapping squirrels? <laughs> you just jump them and log a rock outside their pumpkin heads? I ain't no such book. I was just telling you. What? Of uh, human bondage? Oh, so you tie them up first, then hit them with the rock outside their pumpkin heads. It's one of them books I borrowed from the Witter Perkins. <gasps> Witter Perkins? The Black Winter? Now, Paul, she ain't so bad. You know what people says about her. Ain't no telling what sort of devilry stuff's in here book. But she be the only one around these parts what reads it. I got this here magazine. You best be reading this instead of that. I don't see what good it's going to do. Oh. I seen the Bickle sisters coming up the path. Thanks for the warning. Now, Paul, don't go carrying on so. Remember now, they's all my family. They's the ones what brought us together. Just one shot. That's all I need. <laughs> Paul. They sneaky they is. Let's see what they want first. Just stop by to get some money. Now can I shoot them? Put that blunderbuss away. And I mean now. I was just sort of just being real community. Heidi Parsley, Heidi Rosemary. You two just sit a spell, why don't you? You can't just up and pour it out like that. Well, that's why we're here, isn't it? I know. But you can't yank the greenbacks from the folks. You have to sneak up on them first. Commence the sneaking. Thank you kindly. Now, what brings you two here? We ain't got no money. I was just getting head started on the conversation before it gets out of hand. What y'all collecting for this time? The poor. Hey, let me know where we can make a withdrawal. I'll be out in the yard. Get my gun. 
check out. Good. He's gone. Now that's when you folks can talk. So, what were you two saying? Well, I ain't one to spread gossip. But did you hear? Hear what? Say somebody been poking around the holler. Somebody? When you said somebody, what kind of somebody? Be it a she somebody or a he somebody. Think before you speak. This is important. Well, the way I gets it. It was a man. A man in the holler? Look out, Paul. What are we waiting for? That wasn't funny. <laughs> Where were we? Well, we mean it. Sure really was some man. Somebody poking around down there. You hurt, Paul? I only most of my outside. Wouldn't be so bad, but... I'll be out back. I'll alert you if there's another stampede. I should have had puppies. <laughs> now we can finally talk. Well, I ain't one to spread gossip, but I get it. He works for the government. Who's? Oh, my. I didn't think of that at all. What if you don't work for our government? No, I, I wouldn't mean it that exactly. He could work for some other government. Some sperm power. Come down on us and cast. Look down on our little sleepy community. What'd you ask, Ma? I done forgot. Howdy, Uncle Cyrus. Howdy, Cyrus. Howdy, Cyrus. Howdy, Cyrus. I said, Howdy, Cyrus. Your brother's out back. There's some fresh coffee on the stove yonder. You know, Cyrus is always out amongst them. Yeah, we all know what a gad about he is. Social butterfly, no. For a fact. You reckon he knows anything about this impending invasion alien horde about to descend upon us? If he does, he ain't talking. Fur Fur back. Back. Now, I never said nothing about no firm power. I just asked. Hey, well, you should. I bet they're here to find out all our secrets. What secrets? Well, if I knew that, they wouldn't be secrets now, would they? Wonder what kind of man this feller is. What country does he come from? What language does he speak? Sarah, in the valley, says he's been here for a week. To be a secret agent, coming around to spy. I'll tell you to if best beware, keep a watchful eye. There's, There's a government, government man in the holler. There's, There's a government, government man in the brush. Until we know just why he's here, let's keep it hush, hush. Now, now tell us, Cyrus, tell us. Tell us what you know. Is we in a heap of trouble? Cyrus, tell us where to go. Uncle Cyrus sure is acting strange. He's all keyed up about something, all right. I heard he comes at midnight when everyone's asleep. He's wily and he's cagey and he never makes a beep. Who knows what he's a-doing? Who knows what's on his mind? Could be a politician come up here to rob a spot. There's a government man in a holler. There's a government man in a hound. We gotta find out why it is he's coming snooping round. Now tell us, Cyrus, tell us. Should we pack a gun? Should we stay and have it out? Or should we turn and run? 
He saw Keith up about something, all right. I ain't never seen him so riled up. Oh, Lordy, I just had me an ocean. I speak them cattle mutilations. is about to start again. Next you'll turn the humans and they'll start a dig in Or maybe they are lizards dressed up like a man. Come down here from outer space with some of Greasley plan. The suck is in the levers. Do his own banana. Get those spoons right down and suck the brains clean out of her head. Lady, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. Huh? Just get a man in the holler. Just get a man in the wheel. Where's our coming? What do we do? There goes neighborhood. Now tell us, Cyrus, tell us, should, should we stay and fight? Tell us, tell us, Cyrus, won't you shed a little light? There's a government man in the holler and he's giving us a fright. Just look at him. He's a bundle of nerves. Like a caged up raging bull. We've been to prison where it's sister dear. Ride like Paul Revere. One is by land and two is by sea. She got me reading again, ain't she? Just where did she get them books from anyway? Well, she got this last one from the Witter Perkins. The Black Witter? You keep her away from that evil woman. Hey, why do you two take on so about the Witter Perkins? We have our reasons. You just take it from us. She's a blight and an abomination. Here tell she's one of them hoodoo voodoo ball you readers from down in the swamps of Louisiana. Enough said. We's off to warn the holler about the impending invasion. We off? You can say that again. Y'all take care. Shoot first and ask questions later. And let us sound the alarm. There they go again. Off on another toot. They's a happy pair, ain't they? Now. About this getting books from the winter park. Now, Ma. Coming through. Now what? What was them two clucking about? Oh, nothing but their usual. What brings you here? So I'm got a letter for you. For me? No. For me? No. No. For your ever loving. For Pa? For a fact. There she be. Why, Swan? Who's it from? The government. Our reverse. Be doing that again. When did it come? Well, first time was about three months ago. First time? Yeah, only they didn't put the right address on it. But you knowed it was for Pa? Don't make no difference. We sent it back. Then they sent it to us with the right address, but not enough space. But you knowed it was for Pa? And we sent it back again. Then they sent it to us with the right address and the right amount of post, but it was too beat up to deliver. Wonder why. But you knowed it was for Pa? And we sent it back again. Now they done stuck it in another envelope and sent it back in. Well, how you know it's the same letter? Sorry. So that's for Paul. According to this address. Here. Well, I best get back on my route. I got mail here that I bet I ain't had for a couple of weeks. Rush, rush, rush. I swan. That's all I can do to get an athlete nowadays. Y'all come. See you next month. Hired a lot of government around these parts here recently. I'll get Paul. Hope it ain't them revenuers. Paul, you is needed. Making sure I'm not going to get chomped on again. Well, Just you after you stepped out the door there, we done had a visitor. And you never you get chomped on Whoa. I was going to get this straight. Cyrus. You mean to tell me that mailman lady Dandelion Blatch done got a letter from me from the government and seen it back on account of the wrong address, got it back, seen it back on account of not enough stamps, got it back, and seen it back because it's tattered and torn, and it's just getting to me? Cyrus, why can't you keep your big mouth shut? What was that? Probably some loose coming off the cabin. 
Well, I saw one. It's a coming from the door. Now, I was afraid of that now. You don't know who's out there. It's a stranger for a fact. You ever notice everybody we know just walks on in? It has come to my notice, yes, sir. Come on in. Good afternoon. My name is Marcus Slidell. And, uh, uh, who are you? Uh, I can't remember right now. I thought you just said you was Marcus something. It sure sounds familiar, all right. Uh, Slidell. Yeah, Marcus Slidell. And what business have you? Give me a moment. I just remember my own name. Oh. Uh, Charlemagne, what you fetching something to drink? I'm here representing the United States government. Get this fella something to drink. Charlie. Charlie. Sure, Ma. He voted once. Never been the same since. <laughs> Charlie. Sure. Care for something to swig? Oh, no thank you. I'm not sure I know how to uh, swig. Life's going. You want anything done around here, you got to do it yourself. I think there's a jug of sweet cider out in the kitchen. Are you all right? Oh, no. You want another one? Well, she's got something. Is it catching? Yeah, she's got some all right. I ain't drinking. Never seen it takes a fast neither. You know, sent me a mile. Hankering? So, you just state your business. Uh, yes, sir. I guess we better start from the beginning. My card. I am the second assistant to the undersecretary of the commissioner in charge of the office of land. Management Division of the United States Parks and Wildlife Department. Well, never seen something like that. Say it was hurry. Of course. I'd have worked my way up to that. Now, hold on a second. Ma! Get in here! You must be awful smart. Uh. Not really, or I wouldn't have had to come here. See, the government, well, the government sent a letter to your family around months ago, a couple months ago, a few months ago, and. A letter? That sure sounds familiar. Huh? Do that again. What? what? State your business. Oh, oh. yes, ma'am. The second assistant to the younger secretary of the commissioner in charge of the office of land and management division of the United States Parks and Wildlife Department. Lots well, on that sure powerful handle. Yes, ma'am, and I'm sitting here. Hang on, hang on. Cyrus! Get in here! But I was just asking you. Don't he sound important, Ma? Mm-hmm. Here's you some cider to soften up the dust in your throat. Thank you, ma'am. Now, did your husband receive a letter in the last? Come here, come here. Hold still. Hey. Take the bits. I am the second assistant to the undersecretary of the commissioner in charge of the office of land and management division of the United States Parks and Wildlife Department. Why is that a cost? You don't take one. <laughs> now, Mr. Hereford, about that letter. I ain't got one. Cyrus done found something outside he wants for us to take a gander at. Sir. What, what is it that brought you here? Well, the government is interested in a large acreage of land on a mile from here, and it is owned by your family and one other. That piece of bottom land? 
Out by the branch down there? I believe it's near a small stream. And apparently it is owned jointly by your family and another family named. The Guernseys? Oh, no. We ain't having nothing to do with no Guernseys. Mm-mm. We've been a feeding with them for as long as I can remember. Ain't no way you're getting that piece of bottom land. But all I need is to buy from the two families. It's a very generous offer. And the government done sent you here for that? Well, they picked me because I wasn't in the room at the time. That and, well, they looked into my personal records and found out that my mother's maiden name was Guernsey. <gasps> you the Guernsey? Uh-uh. Paul ain't going like this. I best go tell him. You can't stay here. I don't understand. You best get on out here before Paul gets a beat at you. You mean you'd shoot me? For a fact. A man! You can't hide. You can't is, hide in Paul's room. What is wrong with you people? Here, you can hide out here until I set a fall down soon. But. You'll be safe in here. Where's that city slicker? What kind of city slicker? Was it a man? For a fact. And a Guernsey. The boot. Now, where is he? He is done gone. Done gone? Well, done gone where? Oh! He must have found the wasp mess on the back porch. And so, we, representing the United States government, hereby tender this offer for your acreage in an effort to secure it as a saint, saint, sanctuary for wildlife. Now, why can't folks just speak plain? I done told you, Paul. It's the government. Makes a man proud. Right, ooh. A little bit of, ah! Paul, I've been a thinking. Now, Ma, when you's a thinking, we's a hurting. Oh, this Marcus Feller ain't just a Guernsey. He's a government Guernsey. Uh, this row you's a hoeing. Is it going anywhere, woman? Well, if you was to shoot him full of hoes, mm -hmm. the people up at the government might have to come down here and, well, we just ain't got room for them. You know, I plumb didn't think about that. Besides, they might not like it. They is particular in that kind of way. We done got all the wasps out of our room there. And it weren't easy. How'd you do it? Well, we done chucked Freddie Lou out the window and then wasps went right after her. Now, where is that sweet looking man? You all leave him be. He's government, and you know what that means. Trouble. Howdy, y'all. More bad news. Howdy, Sarah Lee. What brings you here? News is what brought me here. Where they's news, they's Sarah Lee Pope. Now, I come to get a scoop on this new feller what's come down upon us from the Congress. Well, he's a man. And he's ours. We seen him first. The handsome stranger was greeted by the whole Hereford family. Great. 
now we in the news. I was going to have stuff for my newspaper for days. I told you we should have shot them. And this is front page stuff. Maybe I ought to shoot her. He is here on government business. Come on, it's safe. What's your use on this poor man, Paul? Scatter shot? How are you feeling? You ain't hurt none, is ya? What can I do to make you feel better? Paul! Oh. You gals leave him be. Aw, oh, Paul! Oh. And I don't like your seedy slicking ways. <laughs> trying to keep with my daughter. I didn't do anything. Playing hard to get, huh? That's like honey to a possum. You calling us possums, Paul? Now you all get away from here. Well, look here. Look who's been taken up for the government man. All innocent like sheep. Y'all behave. Oh, Ma. Y'all got chores to do. Go get them. We don't ever get to do nothing. I ain't never gonna find a boyfriend. How we ever gonna get a man? So, so stupid. You's the stranger the whole holler's talking about. Who are you? I Sarah Lee Polk, the community newspaper editor. I write for the caller. See, our little community was named for Zebediah Hooten, so this here is Hooten Holler. You write the Hooten Holler caller? Well, not just Hooten Holler, but other communities as well. My paper also covers the town of Titus Waller. The Hooten Holler, Titus Waller caller. Don't forget, Crow's Crawler. Just, what is the name of your newspaper? My card. The Hooten Holler, Titus Waller, Crow's Crawler Call. And Jug Bank. The news as we see it is everybody's business. We tittle tattle, fiddle faddle, tell it like it is. We write about the many and we write about the few. Who done it? Why they done it? Who they done it to? We the hoot and holler, tie to swallow, throw swallow, swallow. Buy yourself a heap of news for under half a dollar. Got news for the blue shirts and all the And jug band. And jug band. So, has the band gone any better? Yeah, since we figured to bring the jugs full at the start. Then after we passed them around our audience and they's empty. Y'all sound about better? Don't make no difference. They don't much care by then. Now, where was I? Oh, oh yeah. You can read about the flood while come and wash out the bridge. Or marvel at the goings on clean over the ridge. Learn about the blessed and the bad and the rude, or a good old fashioned hillbilly mountain feud. Save the hoot and holler, tide a sprawler, crow's crawler, caller. Buy yourself a heap of news for under half a dollar. There's news for the illiterate as well as the scholar. In the hoot and holler, tide a sprawler, crow's crawler, caller. And a jug band.
you descended upon our sleepy little community? Well, I am trying to set up a sanctuary for wildlife. I see. Not looking for no moonshine still? Moonshine mm. still? Uh, 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 sure up there, Sarah Lee. Don't try to stand in the way of the free press. We had the right to know. Know what? What? Get out. Fine. Tromp on the people drops and see where it gets you. I won't. I will not be bullied and shoved aside. There will be a reckoning to pay. Unless you want to buy a subscription. Fine. Just get out. Another sale. I'll pay you up the path there. Mr. Hereford, stop now, that lady. Now, now, now. I ain't have nothing to do with no Guernsey. And I've got my argument backed up right here. He does make a good point. Oh, let's me and you have a confab. There's just a couple things I need for you to know. I figure. <sighs> this isn't even going to be as easy as I first thought. Better call on the team. Hello? Barbara? It's Marcus. Let me speak to the chief. We just be in here till you finish. Hello? Howdy. Chief, Marcus. I'm here, but it's not going to be as easy as we first thought. Why is he uh, talking into his biffo? I don't know. Well, the thing is, there's some sort of rivalry going on between the two families, and you won't believe it, but, well, it's, it's, it's a few. That's one of them walkie-talkies. He's a talking to his captain. Satan's setting up for the invasion. That's right. Listen, send out a team as soon as possible. I need all the reinforcements I can get. He's a calling up his army. They getting ready to send it for us. That's right. I'll be in touch. Harley Boo, uh, Tracy? Huh? Harley Boo, German? I beg your pardon? He's a sly one, he is. Acting like you don't understand. Can I help you? Get, get, get away from my house. We must orb ourselves in the house. People come and go in the oddest manner around here. She's a coming. Here's another one. She's a coming. Miss Hereford, can I be of some assistance? She's a coming. Hot if you know what's good for you. Can't wait to see what this is. Whatever you do, don't look her in the eye. She's got that evil eye. Paul, oh, you best get in here. Maybe it's just gonna come. What is it, Ma? She's a coming. Who's a coming? It's all gonna get out of it, too. She's, it's our. The Black Leader? Good day to you. Cast your eyes away. What a fine day it is, too. Well, well, well. We done got some new blood in the hall. She knows, Pa. She knows. What has brought you to our step with her, Perkins? I has come on account of all the summons by the ways of the woods, by the voices of the unseen. And also to get my books out. I figured. I'm Marcus Slidell. Charlemagne, you stay Woo! clear of her. Woo! Woo! Is that good or bad? It ain't never good, boy. She ain't gonna hurt me, Ma. Slidell, your name may be. There's Guernsey blood deep within me. Oh, my gosh, Pa, she knows. Ma, uh, just now, how did she conjure that up? Your sister, Frida Dunn, told me she was a hot foot in it yonder being chased by her to wasp. Now, Ma, you best head on in there. We leave her to her ways. We don't want no truck in there with you, waiter. You take heed and leave ours be. I was just getting a book. Evil ways. Somebody want to tell me what's going on here? Ye are all the undoing of the holler. Ye has brought with ye a pestilence and a blight. She's from the government. But it's it. It's worse than I thought. Here's your book, and thank you. Ain't no need to be afraid. She ain't gonna hurt you now. Whatever. I have to get back to business. Mr. Hereford, about selling that land. He just
just won't have nothing to do with me. I just wish there's some way I could get that pillar to take a notice of me. Wish? Child, does you have the hankering? Really and for true, I do. Only. <coughs> Say, Witter Perkins. Yes? You has ways. Everybody in the holler knows that. Now, I ain't saying I believes in none of it. Only. Only what, child? You know of some way I can get that feller to take a notice of me? You want him to dote on you? To adore you from afar? To woo and spoon ye? Yeah. Fine. I has three potions. Every one of them conjured up by me for three powerful but different effects on who it is you upset your cat first. What is that? Hold your taters, sir. Maisie! I'm coming. I'm still gathering up some barks and berries for that other lady. Shh. Now, we don't give out no particulars on none of our other jobs. I was training her on account that I was opening up a new branch office. Work. Not by the branch with you? I done found a dead bat we can use? Never mind that. Now, you be in the spooning or in the, in the love spell? I would try anything. Well, I have my number one. That's where you're getting to take notice and starts being real kindly to you. I has number two, which has them following you around and starting fights with anybody that looks at you. And then there's number three. That's the one I want. You don't even want to hear about it? You just whip it up for me and I'll settle up with you later. Fine. We's gonna need some skunk weed, a dead goose's egg, and any hair you can spare. Me? Not again. Let's see. What else we gonna need? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. One hairball from an old black cat. Ain't so sure this bat is dead. Sixteen fleas from a hound dog's head. One small pouch can a change your life. Soon one day you'll be his wife. Lock the youngins round my house. One long tail from a poor church mouse. One long tail from a poor church mouse. Magic potion, magic bell. Put them in a pot and mix them well. Make them love you, that's our plan. By and by, gonna get that man. Fiddle little dee dum, fiddle little guy. You'll be the apple of his eye. Fiddle little dee dum, fiddle little day. Love and marriage coming your way. We's gonna need some hair from the object of your desire. For Marcus? That's right. The spoonie. Hang on. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Two front teeth from an old swamp rat. Hey, I think this bat's a nice. A bead of sweat from a horse's hide. A bead of sweat from a horse's hide. Marcus, can you come in here for a while? What is it now? Just a patch. Land's sake, he isn't going to talk to us folks like this, is he? Like what? What do you mean? Mr. Slidell, you had best come see what I have for you. What? Ow! What are you doing? Sorry. Never you mind, sir. I can see you as busy. If I could get this thing done and get out of here, that's all I ask. There you are, number three. Good! Good! A little bit of that and a little bit of it. We'll soon be living in wedded bliss. Won't be long, I'll be his bride. My pa will be with pride. Yes, sir, he gonna be with pride. Magic potion, magic spell. Put him in a pot and mix him well. Find his magic in the hills. Little by little, moving in for the kill. Fiddle little, little dee dum, fiddle little die. You'll be the apple of his eye. Fiddle little dee dum, fiddle little day. Love and marriage coming your way. Fiddle little dee dum, fiddle little do. He's gonna be your Romeo. Magic spell, put him in a pot and mix him well. Make him love you, that's our plan. By and by, gonna get that man. By and by, gonna get that man. By and by, gonna get that man. Yeah! <laughs> we'll have him treat with this one.
Well, y'all leave them be. It's the same fair, Ma. Charlie slipping down and taking up all that feller's time. Yeah, and her acting all innocent like, and we're trying to do everything we can to get him to notice us. Partying up ourselves, making eyes at him. Fighting off a flock of wolves. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, I ain't have nothing to do with no guns. You just wasting my time. But, Mr. Hereford, I ain't forget you's one of them. Marcus, maybe I can be of some help to you. First, you don't took up with this city slicker. Then the black waiter. Child, you're wearing on me in my old age. Paul, you ain't that old. I'm getting there, Ma. I'm getting Mr. Hereford, will you guys stop that? But, Marcus! I mean it. Now, listen. You can sign this document, and then I can make it. Uh, okay, Mr. Guernsey, to sign it. Sir, you're right. Yeah, and he was just starting to like me. You? It was me he didn't look at. But I was the one what ripped him. Yeah, but I was the one who what tied him up. Be still, can't you? Charlie? <gasps> It's the Black Widder's helper. What business you got here? She's come for me, Ma. You? Child, what has you got yourself bogged into? You know what the Bickle sisters say about the Black Widder. I know. I was, I was trying to show Maisie the wrong she's a doing by consorting with the Black Widder. Well, that's better. Go on now, you guys leave them be. Here we go again. Oh, Ma. I wish I was a boy. You're about the closest we got. I'll be out with Paul. I'll be out with Paul. You watch yourself, child. Now. What do you mean? Show me how wrong I is. You know how hard it is for a career woman these days? I just said that to get rid of them. Now, you got the potion? All made up special. Now, does I drink it or do I get him to drink? Drink it? Child, you know what's in there. So what do I do? You have to get him to wear it around his neck. How does I do that? Take it. Deliver the potion. No one told me to tell you. Only thing, if you got it on, look out. Gotcha. There has to be a way to close this deal. Say, what if I could find a way to end this feud? Say, I done got something here for you. Get away from me. But this will help you out. That will be a wonderful place to go right now. This is something I have baked special. Get away from me. I don't mean you no harm. Oh, sure. So far I've been threatened. I've had guns pointed at me. I've been mobbed, stung, and scalped. What's next? You plan on skinning me? But I could truly like you. Keep away from me. I swear. What could go wrong next? Oh, my. Say Sean. So don't get in my way. You keep away from him, you hear me? You tell him. Now, what's all the ruckus in it? Guernseys? In my own home? Paul. Them Guernsey gals. We done come to fight. Well, let's get at it. It ain't fair you a keeping him like this. And what is you gonna do about it? The yens don't scare us none. We ain't started in yet. Get out of my way. <laughs> you just scare me of mine. <laughs> now, I'm just about to start shooting just to clear out this place. What's the matter with you people? Can we all just get along? Marcus, 
There you are. The team. You already here? Yeah, we took the chopper in. Let the taxpayers pay for it. set fire to the place. Marcus, you won't have to take charge. Don't say charge to this guy. Guernseys. More Guernseys. Here for it. I knowed you was low down and conniving, but I never figured you was one to steal our women folk. Take him! You can't get out of it that way. I reckon where we finish. <laughs> I reckon. Paul, don't. Ma, he's calling me in on something I didn't even do. You was the one what tempted our daughters here. Ain't that a fact? No, it's not a fact. Who was it? <laughs> Him. Just who is you? Yeah, who is you? Me. State your business. <laughs> What's the first shot or does I get the honors? This is some kind of trick. Fine. I would steal so I don't want to waste no bullets. Mom! Paul, you can't just shoot folks like this. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Hereford. I just scrubbed him forward. Not exactly the cavalry, are you? Try your charming ways on us, Cyrus. Don't think we don't know where you've been keeping the steel, Stein. Well, I guess if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. <laughs> okay. Who's done been plugged? Nobody has yet. Well, yeah, but I done thought for sure. Ain't nobody been shot dead. What if everything happened to me? Fairly, you best get on out of here before the shooting does start. First, I done heard about this government man snooping around. Then the Guernsey gals cross the enemy lines. Then Luke Duke and Zeke Guernsey shows up. I figured sure I was going to get a scoop. Especially after the Witter Perkins done been down here. The Black Witter? <laughs> she done been here? For a fact. She done been here. And been here she has. And while she was here, she give me this. <laughs> what is that? It's one of her spells to protect us against all our enemies. There's a legend in the mountain about a girl with an evil eye. They say her life is like a wicked banshee cry. She's deadly as a spider, at least that's what they said. Some say she's a phantom spirit, Black Widow is her name. 
and chatting, there ain't no escape. Is that a fact? That's a fact. That little pouch don't scare me none. Well, you best be scared because she made it just for you. I hear one time she come to her doctor, saw him from a frog. Here till she caught a burglar and it turned into a hog. I done been told she cast a spell that gave the hotel warp and made a farmer disappear while standing in his shorts. Black Widow, she's a watching with her eyeballs all of me. Black Widow, she's a coming. Black Widow, she's got wings. What do you say, Zeke? I don't want no more of this. Like a spider, she comes hunting in the shadows of the night. When the moon is full and yellow and the stars are shining bright, you can hide up in your closet, you can hide underneath your bed, but she'll stalk you, then she'll zap you, then she'll suck the brains clean out of your head. Good lordy, what kind of monster woman is she? I don't rightly know, but one thing's for sure, she's on our side. Mm -hmm. Black Widow, she's a watching. With her eyes all all of Black Widow, she's a coming. Black Widow, she's a way. She's a Gals, get on out of this evil place. Oh, Paul. Get. You think so, do ye? These ones is no ours now. Right, Paul? We catch them. Fair and square. You gals breathe. leave them be. You gals do what your boss says. You guys had better go wait back at camp. Wait. Can you not be safe out there? Yeah, I'm not up for any more hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm still trying to get some air in here. Um, uh, go up the back way here. This is the saddest feud I have ever seen. You'd have thought just once somebody shoots somebody. Now, where'd you get that spell at now, Carly? Was it the black leader? Just something for warts, Paul. That's all. You best steer clear of her. She's nothing but trouble. Oh. Has you had enough yet? You ain't doing nobody no good. I swear, whenever you leave, I was going to nail that door shut. Say, don't you just hate it when folks drop by unexpected like, Mom, I need to have words with Marcy. Private life. I see what you're doing, child. You gals going to give him boys a head start or what? Thank you, Thank Mom. Thank you, Mom. I'll go settle Paul, son. Now that we've alone. Now, Charlie. I done got this for ya. Oh, thank you. I think I'd rather go pick up an old revolver somewhere. But you want folks to keep not taking shots at ya. What do you mean? Well, you've seen how they's all afraid of this little old pouch here. That's true. And you want all the help you can get. Uh-huh. And you've seen how mountain folks take great store in this old pouch here. Mm-hmm. Well, all you have to do is put it on. Wait, Charlie, you don't think for one minute I believe in all this hocus pocus? Oh, of course not. But they does. Charlie! Get in here! Here, just put it on and tuck it 
in front of your shark fin. No one has to say it unless you want them to. And if you do, just pull it out. Hmm. Might come handy at that. Just put it on. There you go. Will you look at me? I think I'm going to believe in all this stuff. I must be losing my mind. Them two's always a scrapping. You pay no mind to them, you hear? Oh, tell me about it. You know Charlie wanted me to wear that pouch of hers? You has warts? <laughs> Not till I got here. Charlie has sure taken a shine in the you boy. I know. The hankering, as Paul calls it. Powerful. I mean, did you see the way she stood up to them Guernseys? Yeah, uh... Huh. She really did, didn't she? For a fact. Without so much as a thought for herself. That's the way it is. She really is something, isn't she? The hankering. And I'll tell you one thing. It's catching. Ma, Pa needs settling again. I'll go get him. You don't worry none about Pa. And you don't worry none about Marky. Oh, you two don't worry me none. Tickle me a little. Do you and Ma have words? We chatted a bit. I see. What? Well, I guess I'm just speaking now. Why, did you do something to your hair? No, but I've done something with yours. Don't you feel anything? I feel like I'm wasting time, not taking care of business. That's all. Why? Maybe it takes a bit to take care of. Anyways, I better go join the team. Maybe we have better luck if you call in. Say, Charlie. What? How would you like to go with me? There you go. And well, you was ever so kindly to ask. I just sort of had a hanker. Thank you, Black Widow.
Now, Ma, you just flapping your gums. You know ain't no city failure ever come to no good. But, Paul. And I know what you women folk is up to. Paul. And don't forget you's in a group with the black widow on top of it all. You know what the Bickle sister says about her. Out of my way. Why are you down my laughing, boy? These people are crazy. <laughs> what you think about, Ma? Paul, you can't stand in the way of true love. True love, she says. Like that's supposed to make everything okie dokie. What is this? Said y'all can stay around here? Now you just hold on a while. We can get better acquainted like together. <laughs> True love's a powerful thing, Paul. You ought to know this. I know this. Whenever one of them comes up in here, there's a parcel of them. Poking their noses where I ain't belonging. Did I miss something? And on top of it all, the Guernsey show up right here in my own earth and home. Now, Marcus has been a saying as to you two ought to figure out what y'all's a feeding about. I know what we's a feeding about. Who wants that self piece of bottom land? I don't believe this. Your daughters are sure healthy. Taking a break, are you? Well, I ought to go ahead and shoot me. I could use a rest. <laughs> Come to ask Paul for my hand in marriage, did you? Why couldn't you just have Poppy? Well, there you are. What have you got this into here? Oh, Matt. Why don't you stop and take it easy? Stop and smell the roses. You know, if you take a minute and look around, you'd be surprised at how nice it is. I ain't selling you my land. I don't care. But, uh, wait, what? I don't care if you sell us the land or not. See, I found those things around the hollow worth a whole lot more. All righty, Paul. Let's leave him be. You got your way. It's not my way. I don't even know what I did. Where are you going? Sake. Ain't it wonderful, though? Yeah, I suppose. Wonderful. Charlie, what's wrong? Nothing. It done worked out like I wanted. Just like I wanted. And how's things holding up in the heavy cabin? Widder Perkins. No one can marry folks around these parts. Well... I see things are going just fine, I see. Marcus, I need to have words with the widder. Oh, okay. I understand. Girl talk. <laughs> He's got it bad. Yes, I'm, and I don't want it like this. Oh, yes, and he sure came down with... What? You don't want... What? It ain't right, Widder. I want him, sure enough. Not like this. Not on account we done put a spell over him. What is he saying, child? I want him to love me out of his own ideas. Out of something he wants. Not something I done to him. Child, women has been putting spells on men long before I started helping out. Has to be his own idea. Don't you see that? Land sakes, child. Really is in love with the boy. I can't say I'm surprised by it, none. You want to see how he really feels for you? Yeah. Then take the pouch away. That's all it takes? He ain't under the spell if he ain't wearing it. Only, once it's off, he can't put it back. I better be for sure, then. For a fact, I'll do her. 
It's the only way. Kids these days. I swan. Marcus, can you come in here? I hope you know what you're doing. Me too, Witter. Me too. Hun, you call? From now on, you is on your own. On your own? What you mean by that? Marcus, let's see the spell. Can't think of anything I'd rather do. Now, you remember early yesterday I gave you that pouch to work? Well, you need to know something about it. The thing is, I need somebody. What well, can? Charlie! Not now, Frida. I done got that failure chief in the kitchen, and I need you to help me talk to him. Talk to him? You can speak for your own self. Talking, not a problem. I need you to help me tie him up so he can listen right good. I'll be right back. Let's make this fair. You know, it might not be so bad living here. I can get a piece of land, maybe raise some livestock, no more traffic, no more government, and no more slack. There he is. talking about? We is talking sense. We ain't about to let no firm government take over our holler. Now you get. But I was just. You was just about to become our prisoner. Now get on out there and don't you try and make a break for it. Get. Yes. Yes, ma'am. When that woman builds up her steam, she can sure wear out a failure. <laughs> Woo! Marcus, about... Where's Marcus? Hopefully he's gone. Maybe he's gone. Please let him be gone. You didn't do nothing to him, did you, Pa? Do something. I was in there playing right here, my bulldog. Come through. Has you seen Marcus? Please don't grab me now. I just got some distance between me and. There you is. Oh no. Thank you for tangling him up so I could get a hold. Now, sweet thing, how about me and you taking some time to get to know one another? I should have gone to my dad's linoleum business. Are you still gonna sell us that lamp? Nah. For me? Excuse me, I have to go quit my job. Well, let's both go together. Give me rock quick. Oh, I feel for you. Oh, Molly, baby, they got you. <laughs> Somebody called David Mum, they got him. Good, it's time I met up with your folks. Steve, do something. I don't know how about calling the National Guard. Has you seen Marcus? No, but when I do, I'm going to beat him. Oh, you done stopped and wait for me. I tripped on the log. I knew you was falling, baby. I tripped on the log. Pa, something's done happened to Marcus. You're making my head hurt, Charlie. I bet it was them Guernseys. What? Ma, something's done happened to Marcus. And I bet you one of them Guernseys has got it. Pa, you has to do something. Do something? Ever since I've known them, this is the first thing I like what they've done. And you want us to go do something? Pa, please! You really, you really like this failure, don't you? Really and for true, I do. Only, 
only what, Charlie? I don't know if he feels like I do. I know. Oh, Mom! That just has Winter Parkinson's pillow for you. Bell? Huh? And just how did the Winter do that? No! Wait for me, Bernard Jack! Honey, man, use mom. You really like this failure? You put a spell on this failure? I did. And I want to take it off and I want him to love me for true and for sure. Well, it's up to me then. You, you is going to help me? Yep. I was going through the bitter winds of winter, horrible draft of sun. I was even going toe to toe with Monica. One thing I know is he can't fight love. He fought his way through this here life, struggled tooth and nail, been kicked and punched and thrown around, been run out on a rail. He scraps and scrapes and mixed it up with most kinds of men and beasts. Been hauled off to the calaboose a dozen times at least. He done fought through blizzards, fought through drought, slipped through a mighty quake. He done sparred and bickered with me, who sooner faced a snake. But when it comes to the heart, ain't nothing you can do. You can moan and groan, push and shove, but you can't fight love. Pa, you really done all that? And more, I swear on your grandma's grave. He done fought them Guernseys in the woods, fought them by the creek. They tangled on the mountaintop and in the briar pig. He's been cussed at, fed at, shot at, hit more times than I recollect. Before I lay down in my grave, there'll be more fights I expect. He done wrangled with the raging wolf, fought with the rabbit dog. He done tussled with a stubborn mule and faced an angry hawk. But when it comes to the heart, ain't nothing you can do. You can talk and squawk, push and shove, but you can't fight love. Stop that. Too much touching stuff going on to suit me. Marcus, I'm going to kill you. Where's Marcus? We is just going to go fetch him. Okay, but I get first crack at him. How'd you get untied? Is they here yet? Is who here? The Guernseys. They's a coming. They's a coming here? Not the Guernseys. Ma, you best go on and get in yonder before the shooting starts. Pa, you just talk to him. You hear me? One thing Marcus has taught me is it's better to confab before you start shooting. People these days and their new fangled ideas. Did you see them? I did for a fact. Was Marcus with them? No, just Luke, Duke, and Zeke Guernsey. And they loaded for bear. Well, 
Well, this is going to be a massacre, and I was right here to take it all down. Wait, there's going to be a shooting? Yep. Nope. When I lose my own home, my own home. <gasps> I hear something coming. <laughs> Us women are nuts. <gasps> did you drop something, honey? Go. <sighs> Marky, where did you go? I can't remember right now. Um, was you been taken by the Guernseys? Please tell me all the facts. Guernseys? No. It weren't the Guernseys? Some crazy Bickle sisters. Parsley and Rosemary? Stop that. Get away from me. <laughs> but something happened. And I saw someone coming down the path there. And my other tits was taken away from me. I, I took off. Rosemary sure is a grip. Marcus, I need to talk to you about something. What is it? Your mom's my hat hiding behind the couch. Shut up. <laughs> Marcus, do you remember that pouch I done give you to wear? Well, the thing is... I'm sure sorry, Charlie. I disappointed you. I threw it away. That pouch I give you so sorry to you. What? You done throw it away? Never put it on. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, my sweet man. As sure as a meadow blossom in spring. As sure as a lonely river will sing. I want me a good man for rich and for poor. I want You know, Charlie, I kind of changed my mind about the folks in the hills. How about you? Sure as the rain falls, it sinks to the trees. Sure as the wind blows, it talks to the leaves. I want me a woman to love and adore.
Matt doing behind the couch? Right, looks like it. You city fellers sure have some strange ideas. That's what I likes about them. Hush up there, children. He's about to have a feudin'. What? The Gurseys are coming, and I bet you there's gonna be a showdown. Oh, this is so good. And another thing, Charlie. Watch out, Black Winter. <laughs> well, you know, I, I can come back. The pouch, he never put it on. He was never put under no spell. I bet it is for true, for sure. It is. You want us to plug you both now? Now, Paul, if you keep warning folks they ain't never going to be no bloodshed, and then where would I be? Sarah Lee, I'd highly be obliged if... And I would highly be obliged if you just come on outside with us. Yes, sir. We need room to do our funeral. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> and you want us to go talk to him? I do. Ain't no talking to be done. Eating. Wait a minute. Wait just one minute. Look, I'm the one you want. Yep, right there, him. <laughs> what? Look, I'm the one who started all this, not Paul. So, if he wants to shoot someone, it better be me. Mm-hmm. Sure shows a lot of bravery, son. That's for a fact. Now, you want it wide up? Or maybe I can tie a rag around your eyes. Does one of you help him? Uh, our insurance doesn't cover this. No. I'm the one who got him into this mess. How about we take this outside? Marcus! Oh, no. It's what? It's, it's slattery. Chief is here, and we're all going to get it. We ain't scared no man. Bring him on ahead. Sure is the prettiest man I ever did see. I don't think that's a man. Oh. What is going on here? Chief, I can explain everything. Shut up! Where's Matt? <laughs> Did I miss anything? Chief, we were just about to wrap up this whole thing. I'm sure he was. I never heard such panicky phone calls as the ones I received in the past two days. So, I did a little digging and checked the county records. Now, who here is here for us? That's us. You have a few over a piece of bottom land that was sold to your grandfather. Is that right? For a fact. Guernseys? Ain't sure. And you have a few over the same piece of bottom land that was sold to your grandfather. Is that right? Ain't no say about it. He bought it fair and square. I'm sure he did. But he sold us the land first. No, he didn't. He sold you the same piece of land and turned around and sold it again to you guys. Huh? What? He, oh. didn't, he didn't own it himself. So, you don't own it. So who does own it? Neither family. What? 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 The person that sold you the piece of land turned around and sold it against you, and he didn't own it. I mean, we've done been a few, and we didn't have to. But yeah. Who was it that did sell him that land? Somebody named Bickle. Bickle. Where do you get off to? There he is. Parsley? Thanks. Rosemary? Tom. Hold up. Your first name is Parsley. Yours is Sage. Mm -hmm. And yours is Rosemary. Holy cow, your sisters! What? what? Well, the cat's out of the bag. Rosemary, what has you two been up to? Well, I guess we better fess up. I'd better tell them. When I came back to the hauler 20 so years back, my sisters figured I couldn't fend for myself. So we done made up all those rumors about me being the black widow from Louisiana, just so I can make my livelihood selling potions and such. <laughs> 
What do you mean? They done figured out about Grandpa selling that pot of land, <laughs> which he didn't own. <laughs> we gotta go. See you yeah. Now you men go. We know. We'll just be packing. I suggest we run. Good idea. Wait for us. Whoa! 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 Paul, if the gals get hit, then they can all move out of here. All right, go ahead. This is great. I've got enough here for the rest of the year. Wait a minute. Chief, I understand you checked the county records and all, but how'd you know about who sold whom what? Easy. I got here earlier today and found a very charming gentleman. Who? He's right over here. Come on, sugar pie. <laughs> He was always the charmer of the family. <laughs> well, he didn't get all the charm. Come on, Paul. Let's leave these love birds be. I already missed a few today, Paul. Everything's so simple. So, how about you and me take a little stroll? This here's pouch is for good luck. Is that right? <laughs> So, what do you think? I think she's got it. Hey. Hey.